good morning folks welcome to crooked productions and um, we're about to start a new year so hopefully our world will start to get back on its axis i will not get political and or religious but i'm telling you that i think that we the people can make this all work out moving right along today what i'd like you to watch after being around chinaco all this time and i'm finding out that there's a lot of people following with a cult and um, kind of going in sync with what I'm doing. So that, that, that I'm very proud of that. It makes me happy. And there's people that are doing it on 12-year-old horses. And the way I look at that is that if you're in a hackmore and you're on a 12-year-old gilding or horse and you're doing all the things I'm doing with Chinaco, that's wonderful. What I've come to figure out in the last year is that you're practicing for when you actually get a colt. So, what the heck? This is going to be a ranch horse when it's all over. Today, what the video is about is I'm going to go forward, stop, back up, and side pass both directions on the poles. What I'd like you to pay attention to is the fact that now I'm at a, at a position where my seat bones, which are the bottom of my hands, drop rotate and open i'm trying to do less leg no hand and more seat bones so that when i actually get to the spade bit there it won't even be an option my horse will balance the spade bit and listen to my skeleton so to date this is the test today to see how little i have to do and or how much i have to do of course he's wasn't in on our meeting so it doesn't really matter he's going to do whatever he wants but what I'd like to show you and pay attention to because I've been telling you about rolling your calf pointing your toe out looking raising your shoulder all the things I've talked about now if I do this well you won't be able to tell I'm doing it and that's kind of the point of western riding so I will in fact be talking my way through it so I've said excuse me and now I'll walk forward, then I'll stop, and I'll walk backwards. Now I'll stop, and I'll walk forward, and I'll stop. Now I'm going to tighten both my quads, the muscles from my knee to my hip on top of my leg. I'm going to tighten both of them, take both legs off my horse, one eighth of an inch and tilt my skeleton back one eighth of an inch and ask him to walk backwards and I have to make sure and look up. That's me asking with my body. Now I'm done. So he clocks out. I tell him, you got it. When his skull lowers or he alternates his ears, then he in fact says, got it. There's the deep breath. And what I want you to understand, please, is that all this time I've spent, there's the payoff. As the horse says, so, now what do you want to do? He's not dripping with sweat. And he's not bothered about it. He's like, okay, I got that. Well, that's one small thing that I've been able to say, check for today. And if it falls apart tomorrow, it's kind of, it doesn't matter to me because I already know he's been there now. So now I'll circle the logs and get on the logs. And then I'm going to ask him to side pass. And once again, if you would watch my feet and my hands, if things go well, you, you, won't, you will see very little movement. If I have to go all the way to the spur, I will. Excuse me. Contact forward. Right toe out, which makes for a left turn. Looking to the circle, lifting my hand for a half halt, right toe out, left front foot moves in, over the log and stop. Now, he's wondering which dray I want to go. I'm going to go to my right. So I'm going to look to my right and drop my left seat bone and my foot isn't going to do anything unless it has to. Then I will in fact tap with my upper calf and if I have to, I will roll my toe out. My right leg will be off. So I'm about to say, excuse me, 
and there it is. My left seat bone is down, and I'm looking the direction I want to go. I'm telling him, here it comes. Left calf, barely moved, left calf. I'm looking the direction I want to go. I've got perpetual motion now. I lean forward half an inch to walk the hind quarter over, looking forward to move the deal, looking to the right. Right front needs to help out with my hand opening. Hind quarter. Hind quarter more, because this is side passing. Side pass. Stop. Don't get bothered, see this? Now watch. Don't worry about it. This is not that big a deal. My body has now melted. So I felt him start to get up. I got two choices. I can take him through the tunnel, which sometimes that's what I do, or I can stop and say, get your brain back, partner. This is not rocket science. Relax. Ears moved. Now watch, I'm gonna sit up and watch his ears. I just said, excuse me. I didn't pick the reins up, which I typically do to say, excuse me. Now, I'm going to look to my left, move my right leg back a quarter of an inch because the hip is not square. I'm asking the horse to side pass. Thank you so much. Now, side pass, right seat bone is down. Here comes my upper calf. Perpetual motion, I wanna get a, a dance going. Lower my hands, because I can see his nose on the ground in the shadow. Here comes my upper calf. I need you to look where you're going. Thank you very much. Hind quarter over. Now we're dancing. Movement, hind quarter, side pass. Get my hands as quiet as I can. Pretend the log is longer than it is. Side passing, forward, hind quarter over. Looking to the left, getting too fast. I'm gonna slow him down with my breathing. And I'm going to stop in the middle of the log. Now I want to go the other way. Leaning forward to move that hip over. Side passing, looking to the right. Left seat bone is down. Right leg is off. Preparing. I make the log longer than it really is. So it sets me up to move the hind quarter around. And hind quarter, leaning over the dash, reaching back. And looking where I want to go. Left seat bone down. Legs are not moving. Seat bone, seat bone. Tilting for the hind quarter and stop. Now, there's another piece to this, which is the Captain Obvious part. Once a horse understands this, he will do it automatically. Okay, I'm not at that point. When he anticipates it and does it automatically, I've done it too long. In other words, I don't want him to come up here like a reining horse and do a pattern. I want him to listen to my skeleton. That's why I stop, change directions, move around. But as you can pretty much tell, as you do this enough, the horse says, I get it, I'm gonna be side passing. But I would prefer it to be on my, when I ask, not him just getting on here and doing it and then walking away. That's the difference, please understand that. I'm schooling with my seat bones. If he did it without me doing anything, and I, my bridle fell off, like the famous story, the bridle fell off and the horse did it. Well, that's nothing to be proud of. It means you made a robot. So I'm not going, I don't need that. What I need is for this horse to listen to my body. And I'm saying, you need to move your hip over because you're cocked. Here it comes. Thank you so much. Now, side pass. I mean it. There goes my calf. I will beat you to death with my upper calf. Leaning forward for the hind quarter. Dropping my right seat bone, my left seat bone is off. Drift, side pass, side pass, side pass, and hind quarter. Now for those of you that are observant, you'll notice the logs are farther apart than normal. Well, that's helping the horse. Right seat bone down. Now when I get in the middle of this next log, I'm gonna change my mind and go the other way. Now I look, drop my left seat bone, and say please go the other way. Oh, reminds me, you need to move your hind quarter over. I'll reach back to help you, thank you. Look where you're going. Side pass, side pass. Go ahead and cross your front legs whenever you can. Hind quarter, thank you so much. Don't get too fast. I'll slow him down with an exhale. 
Thank you so much. If you don't think breathing is a part of this, then try holding your breath for three minutes. See how that works out. <laughs> Hind quarter. Now I'm going to stop in the middle. Half halt, should say, and go back the other way. Now I'm going to change my mind, go back the other way. Now I've decided I need to go back where I was. And now I'm going to ask the forehand to walk out through the hole. With my shoulder. Thank you so much. Please walk backwards. You need to move your right foot over. Thank you so much. One more time, you need to get straighter walking backwards. I will set, exhale, and back up. That means walk backwards. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now you're done. So you can clock out now. Drop your head, take a breath. Do whatever you think you need to do. It's over. Thank you so much. So, my spurs are on my feet. That's insurance. I never used them. My seat bones talked to the horse. He fell apart a couple times. Well, fell apart in the big picture. When I was younger, it meant you were on your way to ICU. Now it just means that he took a step the wrong direction. So I think we're gaining on the process here. I think the lesson of the day, if you would please, is to evaluate yourself where you are. And now with the New Year's resolution, you can say, how well can I present myself to my horse? Give your horse some credit that he's sensitive. If you're still banging away, then you need to rethink what you're doing with your hands and your body. So I hope that covers it. And I did want to tell you that uh, I want to thank, there's a man in Quebec that sent me and Deb a Christmas present. And it was cans of syrup, which we've never seen before since the old metal log cabin when we all had as kids. Anyway, I want to thank him. And it was very, very nice. And everybody else had sent us things. And he had a handmade bosalito, which was done very well, incidentally. And anyway, I, I know that people appreciate, because they've told us lots of times of us putting on this YouTube. Well, you need to know it's 100% the other way. We appreciate people getting a hold of us. And I don't mean the gifts. We're not on welfare. But I'm just saying we appreciate the fact that people are interested in this. Because, as you know now, I have nothing to do with performance and things you get ribbons for. Ranch horse. Thank you.